runners know that they should have their foot on the ground for a very short amount of time. A so-called short ground contact time, obviously. And this is true, because the shorter time you have the foot on the ground, the better the stretch shortening cycle works, which gives you more of the elastic recoil you get from this the body's rubber band system, the elastic structures like tendons and muscles and fascia. And when this elastic recoil works better and you get a better energy return, you will be more energy efficient when you run. So how do you get a shorter ground contact time? Well, the logical thing here should be to just try to lift the feet a bit quicker. If you lift your feet quicker, the feet will be on the ground much shorter time. And that sounds so logical, but it doesn't really work like that. The problem is that very few runners understand how extremely short of time they actually have their foot on the ground when they run. It simply doesn't make sense that by thinking lift, 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 that you can shorten your ground contact time. That doesn't mean, of course, that it's wrong to try to lift your feet faster. It may actually be better for some people, but perhaps not for the reason they think. And quite often, they start to spend a lot of energy in other places in the body, which makes it less energy efficient anyway. Even if they think that they are running in a more energy efficient way because they think lift, lift, lift. Okay, let me explain. How long you keep your foot on the ground depends on a wide range of things. Like what surface you're running on. Hard surfaces generally result in a shorter ground contact time, but also where you land in relation to your center of mass. The further you land in front of your center of mass, the longer the ground contact time. And also how much you are leaning forward. Some leaning forward is good, but if you lean too much, the ground contact time will probably be longer. And then it, it depends on also your elasticity in your body and your strength and a lot of other things. But no matter how you run, your foot is on the ground for an incredibly short time. When I run here on my soft treadmill, which gives me a slightly longer contact time than when I run on harder surfaces outdoors, I have a ground contact time of 238 milliseconds. You can see the result from my 3D cameras here. And this is a test that I did when I ran at a pace of 5 minutes per kilometer, 802 per mile I think it is. 238 milliseconds. How short is that? Well, we can look at this game I have on my phone. Now the screen is red. And as soon as the screen turns green, I'm going to touch the screen with my finger as fast as I possibly can. I keep my finger very close to the screen and concentrate fully to be as fast as possible when the screen turns green. First attempt, 285 milliseconds. Second attempt, 279 milliseconds. Yeah, a little bit better. But do you remember how long my contact time was when I was running on the treadmill? It was 238 milliseconds, which is a lot shorter than the time I got in this game. Okay, so now take this fact and move this to your running. So now I'm going to try to lift my feet faster. When I land, I can feel it in my foot, I have landed. Then the signal, from the foot will travel all the way up to the brain and say, I have landed. Do you hear me brain? And the brain says, oh, you have landed. Good thing. Then I'm going to send the signal down in the body so you to the muscles. So the muscle will contract and make you lift the foot. It's reasonable to think that all this going from the foot up and the signals down again takes longer time than it does for me to move my finger to the screen one millimeter at full concentration. When the gr screen turns green, I just do peek. And since you have your foot on the ground for even less time than that, it's pretty unrealistic to think that just by trying to lift your foot faster, you will actually get a shorter ground contact time. And especially since I'm supposed to do it like 170 to 180 times per minute for an hour or two or more. Your reaction 
is too slow. However, some people find it easier to run when they try to lift their feet off the ground a little faster. But this is usually for reasons other than shortening their ground contact time. Such as letting their feet lift a little bit more straight up instead of letting their feet go too far back because this almost always lead to overstride and lower cadence and a lower knee lift which can result in both increased braking forces and less elastic recoil. And then it's the movement up of the foot instead of swinging back too much which makes it feel easier. Not that you have shortened your ground contact time. And there are also other reasons that this could feel good but not for the reason you think. And in addition, there is an obvious risk that you will start to actively use muscle power to lift your feet in a way that wastes more energy overall. The best way to get a shorter contact time is to land further in under your body, under your center of mass, and not to lean too much forward and to do a lot of plyometric training, such as rope skipping. But if you still want to lift your feet faster to try to get a shorter contact time, you are of course welcome to do so. I don't care. I'm just here to give you the facts. I truly hope you liked that video and if you did, please click the like button and maybe also the subscribe button. And feel free to check out all the other content I have here on my channel. And maybe you are also interested in my online course. You'll find it at fredrickzillen.com. Come